AFTV, we got D. You're talking to me now. I'm all right. Are you talking to me now? I'm all right, man. It's <laughs> one of them games, man. I just don't want to talk. I'm like that in games, man, dependent on the way it's going. I'm just, it's one of those, man. I'm just, that was nervy, man. But what a fantastic win. 2 0. Away to Wolves. Wolves mm. have come back from the restart. They've been unbeaten. Yeah. They've been on fire. They've got a lot to play for. You know what I mean? Those Champions League places today, they, you know, they knew that they had to win that game as well. Mm. And I think Arsenal, wow, what a performance. The, the formation was worked perfectly. Yeah. The substitutions worked perfectly when they came out. And even before that, there were some exceptional performances mm. um, on that pitch. And you could see the team looked drilled. The team looked... That looked like what we want to see from Arsenal Football yeah, Club. That was a proper away performance. Didn't have to be pretty. Mm. Ugly at times. But how many times have we been away from home and tried to be pretty and it's looked ugly mm. because we got slapped? Like last year then? Yeah, like last year. Yeah. You know, and today that was a proper, proper performance. And like you said, the way we set up, the substitutions, mm. Mikel Arteta is slowly showing what he's going to start to do at this club. Yep. yep. You know, some people want to write this guy off already. Some of our own fans want to compare him, Mikel Wenger and all that. <laughs> Behave yourself, man. Give the guy the chance. Mm. All right? Stop disrespecting him, Pep's cone man and all this bollocks. All right? He got the job for a reason. Mm. And they believe in him, so we should believe in him. And he, he's proven it, right? On and off the pitch. And... It's almost like this week we were saying, I was talking to Lee before the game and I was saying, like a good news week. First of all, we had that game the other mm. day, Saka signs that we're going to come to in a minute. Then yesterday, Martinelli signed a long-term deal and then there's nice noises coming out about Aubameyang. Mm -hmm. and, but then there's other players that he's putting his foot down on, like still no Ozil in the squad, yep. still no Guendouzi, not even in the squad. But the players that are in the squad, you can see they are playing for him. Yeah. They buy into what he wants. Mm. And if you don't, bye-bye. I don't care who you are. Mm. Ozil, Guendouzi, you don't buy into the project. Mm. See you later. Too many years we've had players that have ruled what goes on at this club. It's about time we had a manager that put his foot down. Mm. And it's very clear that, you know, Mikel's got the backing of the people behind him to put his foot down. And it's nice to see. It was brilliant. Let's talk about that guy who signed that deal during the week, mm -hmm. Saka, what a finish that was by him. Quality. You know, he's, he's, he's 19. Listen, man. You know, he's, he's, he's unreal, isn't it? The sky's the limit. And the best thing about, you know, him signing that contract is that when he scores that goal today, people are not saying, oh, he'll look great in a Liverpool shirt or a Dortmund shirt or whoever. Mm. He's our player. He's one of our boys. He is one of our own. Hail yep. boy from a kid. And it's so nice to see. You look at the second goal, the way that Joe Willock set that up. Another, another academy another player. Another hairline boy. And Lacazette, yeah. given how bad his confidence is. The touch, the yeah. finish. Fantastic. Fair play to him. Aubameyang's work rate mm. might get unnoticed. It was exceptional. Um, Eddie's work rate Eddie's as well. Eddie rate. and Ketty as well. Yeah, you've got to look at the second goal. A key part in all of that was Mustafi winning a header mm. right on the halfway line to actually break the play. And a lot of people might actually forget about that. Mm. You know, I thought David Luiz, given the fact he was on a yellow card as well. Yeah, Brilliant. which he took one for the team. He had to take one for the team. And you've got to remember, they're up against Traore, right? Oh, who's he's he's such a dangerous player. But you have to say, if you look back at... I mean, at the, at the time of watching it, we're like, oh my God. And he did have that chance when yeah. he was through. But they had one chance. That he should game. really have scored, right? Yeah. But, but give apart Emi from that, they credit. kept him quiet, didn't give they? Give Emi Martinez credit as well. Yeah. Because it was him coming out the way that he did that meant Traore had to try and dink it over him. Mm. Because he was quick and he's a big guy as well, Emi Martinez. Mm. And that's three clean sheets for him now. And nobody the at Premier the moment, League. nobody at the moment is missing Leno. And that tells you a lot because he's been one of our main guys. Yeah, he's one of our players of the season. But that's yeah. testament to what, you know, Emi's doing. And, mm. you know, I felt that the substitutions were done at the right time. I felt the performance by Maitland-Niles was just superb. When he come on, yeah. He played left wing back. Mm. You know, there's stories that he don't like right wing back. But yeah, he went about his business, done the job, and he was Another player tough. as well. Another player who, when Mikel came in, dropped him out for a bit and stuff like that, and sort of almost said, called it out publicly. Mm. You know, knuckled down or... And he looks like he's knuckling down. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, there's a lot of fans saying that 
you know, he's got a shout for starting games. Yeah, yeah. You know? so it shows he trusts him because he could have easily turned around and pulled Kalazanak out of the central defensive areas, put one of the centre backs that he had on the bench on, mm. and put Kalazanak in that left wing back role. But he was like, no, I'm not going to upset the back line. Mm. That's one of the worst things you want to do. You don't need to change things as it might knock us sideways or whatever. I'm like, oh, I trust mm. Ainsley. I'm going to put him there. Mm. And he didn't let him down. His tackling, his, his doggedness, mm. just everything that he did. And Granite Shaka in the middle again today. That's fight. That's a mm. proper leadership in there today. Mm. That's what I like to see. Going back to what you said earlier about Arteta. So, you know, because you, you are right. I mean, after, the, after literally the second game, the Brighton game, there was a lot of people saying, oh, is he the real deal? Or whatever. And there was a lot of people saying, no, be patient with this guy. Come on, look, at, the, look at Klopp when he went in at Liverpool. There was a lot of things he had to listen, change listen, around. Mate, right? Jürgen Klopp went into Liverpool at the start of a season. He didn't have like a pre-season or anything. He kind of had to take over once it had started. They finished eighth that season. You know, he had awful players at his disposal. Mm. But it was about progression, step by step. And yes, we do need to see this on a constant basis. Mm. But already I'm starting to see change. I'm starting to see a different mentality, a mindset. And you know the biggest thing that I'm noticing with these players? They look happy. Yeah. There seems to be a spirit, a fight. Like, I want to fight for you. Mm. It's not about me. It's not about you know, my performance or whatever. It's about, I want to fight for this club. I want to fight for my teammates. Everyone putting bodies on the line. Mm. You know? And make no mistake, that's not like the other night where after the game, we're very happy, but we say, no, it's only Norwich. Yeah. That is a top team there, um, exactly. Wolves. And as I said right at the start, they are, they've got a lot of things to play for. They, yeah, they, they you know, they've had, and they just had a week's rest as well. Whilst, a lot you know, of people might forget that. Yeah, you know, complete week's rest. They could be completely up for that game. And mm -hmm. also, I thought the way we finished the game, stronger as well. Yeah, I mean, we could have got third. You should know, have got Joe a third Willow, goal. That's probably the only criticism. You'll let him off because of the mm. what he done for the second goal. But he should be finishing that. Yeah. Um, but overall, that was a proper, proper performance today, mm. man. And I'm really, really proud. But this is the big test now, Tuesday. Well, we, we, we looked at these games, innit? Mm. And we said... This was We, the we, we, we were all saying opinion. the other night, and we was all saying the other night, it was going, bloody hell. It's all right, Norwich. But next games, Wolves. Leicester at home. Tottenham. Liverpool. But they can go into those games now with a lot of confidence, can't they? Of course they? they could. Look, our home record against Leicester, full stop, is good. Mm. So that should give you enough confidence to feel like you're not worried about the game. But take it with the right mentality, the right approach, the right mindset. Because if we beat Leicester, we're six points behind them. Mm. Six points. And that fifth place could still be on the cards. Because Leicester oh, are the you're still ones looking at fifth. Well, listen, Leicester are the ones that are dropping. I know they won they today, won today as well. Yeah. But they've still got Manchester United to come as well. They've got tough fixtures. Mm. And I'm looking at it and thinking, let's not think about Manchester United and Chelsea. Let's think about Leicester. Because Chelsea and Manchester United might take third and fourth, whichever way they finish. And Leicester might be the ones that drop down into fifth. And that fifth may well be the Champions League spot. Mm. So why not hunt Leicester down? And we got the perfect opportunity on Tuesday to do that. Hunt them down. Start piling on the pressure. You know, you look at Wolves' fixtures. They're still three points ahead of us. But that's huge because we beat them. We go three points behind. We lose today. We're nine. Mm. It's done. That's how big that performance was. Massive. We can't have any slip-ups. And, you know, I said, our next four games, I remember I said it to you a few weeks ago, and you was like, what? <laughs> I was like, Wolves will be the hardest out of the four. You did actually say that. In you my did. opinion. And I said to you, I said, because... Leicester have not started good since uh, lockdown. Mm. And before lockdown, they were on a poor run. Tottenham were on a poor run before lockdown. I think they've got one win in nine. Mm. And I know that form normally goes out the window with the North London derby. Yeah. But you shouldn't go there with any fear. And then Liverpool, they're champions. And I don't saw care the other how, night they and took I know it was Man City, but yeah, they took their I, foot off the pedal listen, a little bit more. And they may be just psychologically it's difficult. in their head, they know they've really it's done tough. it. You know, they might be chasing the 100 points or whatever the record is or anything, but that's just a bonus. That's just a look at mm. the record book. Okay, yeah, it looks nice. Liverpool won't care if 60 points won on the Premier League. They won the Premier League. And it's so difficult to get your mindset in the right frame of mind when there's nothing to play for. They're not in the FA Cup. They're not in the Champions League. So they're not... 
they they want to go back on holiday. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it's I thought today was the toughest mm. one. Man of the match for you go. Oh, I think there were some good performances. I felt that David Luiz played well, given he was on the yellow card as well. I felt um, Danny Sabas, I haven't mentioned him yet. I thought he mm. was good. Mm. Pulling the strings as well. Less spinning. <laughs> well, he's only spinning mm. once now, mm. not two, three. And it's working. And he, mm. it, it was tenacious, a lot of fight. Mm. He was good, but I'm probably going to go with Granite. Granite I, I felt he was just... He epitomised what today's performance was about. Mm. Fight, determination, doggedness, the will to win. And it's good. Let's go follow it up on Tuesday because we get a win there. Keep that momentum going. Today means nothing mm. if we don't win Tuesday. 